Tunaona Yesu asipiwe. Nataka kuongea kidogo kuhusu ufalme wa Mungu. Uh, ambao ni utawala wa Mungu. Sema utawala wa Mungu. Kwa maana Mungu ni Mungu wa mipango. Ana mipango yake, ana mipangilio yake. Na tusipoelewa, elewa, tutajikuta mashakani tusipoelewa tutajikuta kwamba tunahitilafiana na yeye na kazi yake na jinsi amepanga mipango yake Bwana asifiwe na Biblia ongea juu ya neno juu ya ufalme wa Mungu sema ufalme wa Mungu na ufalme wa Mungu sio kanisa la Mungu lakini ufalme unadhihirishwa kupitia kanisa la Bwana kanisa liko tu saa hii tangu kuja kwa Yesu Kristo na akafa msalabani mpaka Yesu atakapokuja kunyakuwa kanisa lake si ndio lakini ufalme wa Mungu ulikuwepo hata mbeleni ulikuwepo na ufalme wa Mungu utaendelea kuwepo hata baada ya kunyakuwa kanisa glory be to god kwa maana ufalme wa Mungu ni utawala wa Mungu ni uongozi wa Mungu na ni mamlaka ya Mungu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na Mungu akiwa Mungu kuna vile ye mwenyewe anajibeba mwenyewe vile anajibeba mwenyewe hata we kuna vile anajibeba mwenyewe na kuna vile anajiona mwenyewe ni kweli ama si kweli kuna watu ambao wanakaa tu hohe hai hohe hai they don't care vile tu kutakuwa kukue lakini kuna mpang mtu ambaye anajibeba anajichukua kwa njia iliyo ya heshima na akajichukua hivyo lazima aheshimiwe kwa maana hivyo ndivyo watu wataanza kumuona ni kweli ama si kweli kuna vile nyumba yako viwango ambao umewekea nyumba yako au majamii yako kama kwenye unakaa yani nyumba yako watu wakiingia wanaona hii nyumba sio sio tu mjengo lakini hata vile mambo yanaendelea pale kati ya mme na mke na watoto na kupewa chakula kukaribishwa kuonyeshwa viti maongeo tangu ingie mpaka utakapotoka hiyo nyumba kuna nyumba utaona utukufu mwingi sana si ndio utaona kuna oda ambayo ni oda nzuri sana na utadhamani hata nyumba yako iwe hivyo ni kweli ama si kweli yani vile umejichukua vile umejibeba hivyo ndivyo watu watakuchukua na ndivyo watakubeba amen ukijidhamini watu watakudhamini ukijidharau hautadhaminiwa Ukijiona we bure hoe hoe watu wote watakuchukua hivyo. Bwana asifiwe. Hata kuna vile watu wanavaa, lazima kuwe na vile unavaa kwa njia ya heshima na kuheshimika. Vile unavaa inaeleza mambo mengi sana. Vile unajivaa, vile unajiendeleza, vile unajibeba. Watu wanapokuangalia wanasoma mambo mengi sana kukuhusu. Bwana asifiwe. Ikiwa umevaa vibaya wataanza kujuzi. Mbona huyu alifanya hivi? Mbona hakuvaa hivi? Mbona aliyefika hivi akakuweka hivi? Yaani sisi ndio tunadetermine maisha yetu. Watu watubebe ama watuangushe. Watu watudhamini ama wakosa kutudhamini. Amen. Na Mungu wetu standard zake, viwango vyake ni yeye tu anaweza kutufundisha. Atuonyeshe ya kwamba kiwango changu kiko juu juu kabisa. Urembo wangu uko juu juu kabisa. Na understanding yako ya Mungu jinsi alivyo na kiwango vyake ama viwango vyake itakusaidia sana kumpa utukufu ulio kamili. Complete glory and worship to him. Hautampa manusu nusu. Hautampa sifa na ibada na utukufu ambao ni hoe hoe utampa utukufu ambao kwa kweli ni kiwango cha juu kabisa anacho kistahili na yule ambaye ana picha kamili ya Mungu ni yeye mwenyewe picha kamili yake mwenyewe na ufalme wake na mpangilio wake wa mambo ni yeye peke yake Mungu amesema katika Biblia for my ways are not your ways si ndio nor are my thoughts your thoughts 
For my ways are not your ways, nor are my thoughts your thoughts. For as the heavens are high above the earth, that's how my ways are from your ways and my thoughts from your thoughts. Na lazima tuwe na picha kamili ya Mungu. Uku wake uko namna gani? Uwezo na nguvu zake ziko namna gani? Urembo wake uko namna gani? Utajiri wake uko namna gani? Na Mungu alipomuumba, alipomuita Musa. Alipotaka ajengewe nyumba yake. Build me a sanctuary. Hakuruhusu ajengewe kwa plan ya wanadamu. Aliita Musa siku ya 40 juu ya mlima. Na wakakaa na yeye ili amuonyeshe pattern. Sema pattern. Tukifungua Exodus 25:9. Tuanze tu verse 1 25 verse 1 eh twende haraka Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying Speak to the children of Israel that they bring me an offering from everyone who gives it willingly with his heart you shall take my offering Unasikia willingly Yule ambaye atatoa willingly uchukue Yule ambaye atatoa willingly wacha nayo Yule ambaye atatoa willingly kwa kujipendea chukua hiyo offering au hiyo matoleo Mhm And this is the offering which you shall take from them gold silver and bronze blue purple and scarlet thread fine linen and goat's hair ram skins dyed red uh siku ya kuku ana pesa kwa hivyo kuna vile vilikuwa na vitu vya dhamana uh-huh and acacia wood oil for the light and spices for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense oric stones and stones to be set in the ephod and in the breastplate mhm that's it and let them make me a sanctuary that i may dwell among them and let them make me a sanctuary that i may dwell among them that i may dwell among them walitengezee makao nikae miongoni mwao verse 9 According to all that I show you. Kulingana na yote nalikuonyesha ama nakuonyesha. That is the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all its furnishing. Just Ile ramani ama mchoro. Just hmm? so you shall make it. Hivyo ndivyo utakavyojenga. Mungu ana pattern yake. Na kuna pattern yake ya kanisa kuna pattern ya ufalme wake yeye ndiye na pattern ya altar yake madhabahu yake binguni kwenye kiti chake cha enzi kilicho binguni biblia inasema ana keti katikati ya makerubi wale makerubi malaika wa kiwango cha juu na Yesu ameketi mkono wa kuume akitufanyia maombezi na wazee 24 mbele yake wanaanguka wakisema unastahili na idadi ya malaika ambao hawezi hesabika wote wakisema mtakatifu mtakatifu hivi ndivyo Mungu alivyo hicho ndicho kiwango chake na hivi ndivyo tunapaswa kumuona na kumabudu na kumpa utukufu katika kiwango hicho chake Bwana asifiwe Mungu anarudia kwa Musa verse 40 Anarudia tena anasema nini? Exodus 25 verse 40. And see to it that you make them according to the pattern which was shown you on the mountain. Mungu anatoshelezwa tu. Anatoshelezwa na ibada. Ama na mchoro ama na mjengo. Unaojengwa na vifaa vyake. Ama na mchoro wake. Pattern yake. Na materials zake and that's why he supplies so that you may build with his material god given material and use his pattern hiyo tu ndio inaweza kumsatisfy tunapoangalia biblia katika kitabu cha exodus 35 and moses said to the children of israel mhm see 
the Lord has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and understanding, in knowledge and all manner of workmanship, mm -hmm. to design artistic works, to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of artistic workmanship. And he has put in his heart the ability to teach in him and Aholiab, the son of Isamash, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with the skill to do all manner of work of the engraver and the designer and the tapestry maker in blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine linen, and of the weaver, those who do every work, and those who design artistic works. Umeona? Mungu alimuita a particular individual from a particular family for this specific job. Na Mungu alimjaza hekima yake, alimjaza roho wake, Kwa maana kuna kila mungu alitaka ajenge kulingana na mchoro na mpango wa mungu. Sindio? Mungu lazima kwanza ange mjaza na roho wake. Katika? Hekima. Hekima. Na akili. Na akili. Na ujuzi. Na ujuzi. Na kazi ya ustadi kila aina. Na kazi ya ustadi. Sema ustadi. Ustadi ni kufanya kwanjia ustadi in a perfect way. In a perfect way, in a perfect manner. Kama vile mungu alimu anoint yeye, uerevu huo na hekima hiyo, na ye huyo aimpat kwa huyo mwingine, aholi ya. Ama wale wote ambao takachi ni yake. Mwana sifiwe. Na hivi ndiyo mungu ufanya. Ikiwa mungu mekupatia mandate ya kujenga kitu fulani chake. Iwe ni kanisa, na napa sema kanisa, spiritual church, siyo mijengu. Iwe ni kanisa, anataka liwe na ability fulani zake. Kwa sababu, visho na mbao mungu alio nao kwa hiyo kanisa, ni kubwa. Kwa hiyo lazima mungu awa visho, certain abilities, divine abilities, ambao zita wasababisha, wa accomplish, ile visho, ambayo mungu anayo kwa ajili yao. Buwana sifiwe. Kiongozi huyo, Kuna upako speciali amepewa. Ili ya kaweze kuikwip kanisa. Na ili waweze kutimia kiwango kile. Amen. Kwa maana kile ambacho mungu na jenga. Kikitadumu. Na wengine visa za vingine vita kuja na viendele kuwabudia pale. Na waendele kuona kwa mache yao tukufu wa mungu. Na kiwango, viwango vya mungu. Standard zaki. Na waendele kujifundisha order ya mungu katika nyumba ya mungu. Tokana na yale yalijengwa Na mwenye ukujenga, alikufa sabu miaka yake ilifika. Lakini sabu alijenga na upako speciali wa mungu. Kile kilijengwa, inadumisha ule utukufu. Wanasipi. Na inakuwa mshangao wa wengi. Nisambu nisi ya mingi.